Oh, hi. Um, long time no see. Um, I don't really have much interesting to share. I just uh, felt like I didn't do this camera a lot of justice, so I figured I'd put another video up that was filmed with it. Uh, this is the JVC BY110U. I've been uh, thinking more about cameras in the last few days, uh, mainly because I got a question about uh, Vidicon camera in my collection. Um, the 1978, I believe it was RCA CC001. Uh, which is now actually broken. Uh, there's a video about that, I believe. Um, it's a shame, too, because it's a really neat camera. But now it is a neat doorstop, so that's always nice. Um, but I uh, have a new capture system, which I will try to display to you in just a moment. It's a little, uh, a little rough, um, but nonetheless kind of interesting. And this is an ENG camera, an electronic news gathering camera. That's the sound of my air freshener. Isn't that nice? Um, it uses three, I think it's three Satakin tubes, um, which are all kind of out of alignment right now, but I don't think there's a way to manually align them. I mean, maybe there is, and I just don't know it, but, um, you know, if you happen to be an expert on uh, old ENG cameras, then please feel free to send me a message to tell me I'm wrong. Um, in fact, there's a switch, I'm forgetting where it is, uh, that will actually change the uh, alignment of the tubes and bring them slightly further out of alignment, which is always fun. Um, I think a big advertising point of this camera actually was that the tubes could be uh, um, auto-aligned, uh, which I'm sure at one point was the case. I'm going to probably go out tomorrow with this camera. I know it's supposed to rain, though, so maybe I expect more video from this thing. And I'll, I'll kind of show you why it's so hard to bring cameras of this ilk out. Um, here, I, I can go ahead and pan over right now, actually. Got the shit out of the way. So, and I hope you can still hear me. I'm getting audio from uh, the camera that I'm using to capture from, that being <laughs> the trusty uh, Canon XL1. Fuck, this is a horrible viewfinder on this camera, too. Um, so it's going straight to DV tape, and then from DV tape it's going to go into my uh, iMac. I'm not even going to pan over to my desk because it's disgusting, I know. Um, but the thing that makes this camera so hard to capture from, and I'll go ahead and pan down. There we go. Is oh, It's struggling. Okay, well... That's the camera power supply, <laughs> which is uh, quite large, and uh, that's the little box, not the large one. The large box is a uh, U-Matic that I've been uh, working with. I'm gonna hope I'm still at least a oh, shit, at least a little bit in frame here. Um, I'm getting audio from the XL1 as well because uh, this camera doesn't have a mic input. I should have just plugged in a mic to the XL1, but I hadn't thought about it. And besides, the audio from that camera is perfectly uh, reasonable, um, especially for a video like this that is just intended to be a little uh, hello, much like the uh, surprisingly popular uh, Vidicon rambles that I've done. I I've always thought maybe I'd make a full kind of a full kind of thing at some point. Maybe I still will. I probably still will at some point. You know, just talking about whatever projects I'm, I've got going on. In fact with regards to projects I've got going on. Let me make sure I'm anywhere near in focus. Uh, not far off. I've got some of these. This is Eastman non-curling film that expired in July of 1920. And I actually do have negatives from it over over there somewhere by the uh, scanner, but yeah, it actually came out. I uh, think I'll have a blog post up at some point detailing all that on my website, which is witty.cc. I think it's like somewhere. Can you hear my Discord going off? <laughs> um, I'm also working, if you couldn't see, on a U-Matic. Um, it worked at one point. Now it doesn't. The tape path is just a little bit fucked up, so I've been seeing how to, you know, fix that. Um, as you can probably see from the uh, garbled Umatic video I posted yesterday. Time flies when you're having fun. 
Um, as for what else I'm doing, I've got in the mail tomorrow is a Sony CVC 2100A. It's one of the classic kind of long Sony boxes with the viewfinder on top and shit. So that'll be fun to mess around with. I'll have a video about it. I kind of want to make a nicer video about it, in fact. So I might start writing a script even. Um, it probably won't be anything fancy. In fact, it will probably be in standard definition uh, with that XL1, which is a great camera too. If you have a chance to get one, I would highly recommend it. Um, just for standard definition video, it's it's great. I have zero complaints. Um, and for capturing DV, it's it captures good standard definition video. It's better than the uh, shitty Roxio was the brand uh, VHS to DVD thing that I uh, used to use. Of course, I haven't been into video as much in the last few months. I've just been thinking about it more in the last few days, and I figured I would uh, share some thoughts. So uh, with that. Those are my thoughts, and uh, I will go ahead and cut to black. Oh, wrong way. Commence advancing, commence advancing. Just saw the prancing, right and left a glancing. Commence advancing.